the Ferrari F8 Tributo, whose name means tribute in English, produces an impressive 720 brake horsepower and 568 foot-pounds of torque from its 3.9-liter V8 twin-turbo engine and will cost a whopping $275,000. By comparison, the LEGO Speed Champions Ferrari F8 Tributo, set number 76895, consists of 275 pieces, is suitable for ages 7 plus, and will cost a much more reasonable $19.99. What's up everybody, I'm Josh, this is Josh Build Stuff, and today we're building the Ferrari F8 Tributo. In this video, I'll give my opinion on the design and features of this set, We'll see how this car stacks up against some of its predecessors, and of course, a time-lapse build will be included as well. This set represents the new look and style of the LEGO Speed Champions theme, in which cars are now 8 studs wide instead of 6. I've gotta say, I'm a huge fan of this change. The level of detail that can be achieved is night and day compared to previous sets. You can clearly see how much more of a Ferrari look this set has compared to the previous iterations. Honestly, I would buy remakes of the sets LEGO's already produced if they came in this new style, especially sets like the Ferrari La Ferraria or the McLaren Senna or the P1. I've said it before, but I'm a big fan of sets that look more like models than toys, and this set is that. It actually looks like a Ferrari at first glance, instead of looking more like a cartoon of a sports car kind of turned into a LEGO set. That's not to say I didn't like the old Speed Champion sets, I just like these new sets so much more. The actual F8 Tributo has a lot of subtle curves and divots and angles, so it couldn't have been easy to capture all that detail at this scale, but I think LEGO did a really nice job. I did switch out the rims on this car to these with the star design, which seemed to match the wheels on the actual car really well. So I'm confused as to why LEGO included much more generic looking wheels in this set, but it's really not a deal breaker for me. Regarding the minifigure, there's not too much to say. He's appropriately called the Ferrari Racing minifigure, and I think it's kind of funny that LEGO says people who drive Ferraris wear leather jackets over their Ferrari logo t-shirt and have a 5 o'clock shadow and some kind of curly black hair, but maybe in reality that's not too far from the truth? Like many others, I'm not a fan of sets which use a ton of stickers, so I'm glad this set didn't have too many. Unfortunately, a lot of the cars in the Speed Champions line are race or rally cars, which tend to have a lot of logos and decals, so it's kind of unavoidable, I guess. While we're talking about stickers, we can take a look at the Nissan GTR Nismo, which is another of the newer Speed Champions cars with the 8 wide stud design, and we can see how that stacks up against the Ferrari F8. As you can see, the level of detail in these cars is so much greater than in the older Speed Champions line. They actually look like the cars they're supposed to be representing. I do think that because LEGO lock themselves into this kind of dimensions for every car, they end up looking a little weird when you put a supercar like a Ferrari up next to more of a sports car like the Nissan GTR. The proportions just seem a little off because one isn't really wider than the other and one isn't really longer than the other, when in reality their proportions would be noticeably different. Don't get me wrong, they're both great looking sets and I like them both for their own reasons, but the Ferrari looks a little puny next to the GTR, if you know what I mean. If we look at how this new Ferrari stacks up against some of these older Ferrari Speed Champion sets, the difference is noticeable. When these sets came out, I thought they were great, and I still like them a lot, but now when I look at them, all I can think is how cool it would be if we had some of these same models in this larger format. But with this increased size, I guess we do get an increased price per car, but really moving from $15 a car to $20 a car isn't too bad, especially when you consider some of the cool new lines of cars we're getting, like the new Lamborghinis and the new set of Jaguars. Overall, my love of the LEGO Speed Champions line has been renewed. Right now, I'll probably buy every new Star Wars set that comes out. I'll probably buy new LEGO Ideas sets if they look cool. I'll buy LEGO Marvel sets as they look cool. But if these new Speed Champions sets keep coming out and looking this good, I may end up with a lot more of these on my shelves as well. 
but I want to know what you think about these new cars. What you think about the line of LEGO Speed Champions and the direction they're going. They're a little more expensive, but they look so much cooler. I assume a lot of people agree with me, but let me know if you don't. What other Speed Champion sets are you looking forward to coming out? What other sets in general are you looking forward to? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please stick around for the LEGO speed build of this Ferrari F8 Tributo coming up right now.